I had asked this math puzzle in a previous video on counting the total number of squares. This is a 5 cross 5 square from which we have removed 4 squares at the corners. As discussed in that video, the total number of squares in a, n cross n square will be the sum of squares of the first n natural numbers. A n cross n square will have 1 n cross n square, which is the largest. It will have 2 squared, that is 4, n minus 1 cross n minus 1 squares. It will have 3 squared, that is 9, n minus 2 cross n minus 2 squares and so on. At the end of the series, we will have n squared, 1 cross 1 square. So, a 5 cross 5 square will have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 equals, 55 squares. Now we have removed 4 of the smallest squares from the 4 corners. Can you count the total number of squares now? Give it a try. Here is the solution. First let us follow the subtractive method, that is, we count the total number of squares in a 5 cross 5 square and then subtract the total number of squares that cannot be formed now, because of the removal of the corner squares. As it is obvious, 4 1 cross 1 squares are now missing. What about 2 cross 2 squares? You will notice that at each of the corner, 1 2 cross 2 square cannot be formed now. So 4 2 cross 2 squares are missing. It is the same with 3 cross 3 squares. 4 3 cross 3 squares are missing. Same with 4. 4, 4 cross 4 squares are missing. It should be same with 5, but you would notice that, all these 4 squares are same. So, for the largest square, it will be just 1 instead of 4. Thus we will have a total of 55 minus 4 times 4 minus 1, which is 38 squares. Can we have a general formula for this? You must have noticed that we subtracted 4 squares each for 1 to n minus 1 and then subtracted 1 square for n. Hence, the formula will be, sum of squares of first n numbers minus 4 into n minus 1 minus 1 or minus 4 n plus 3. Let us check it for a 2 cross 2 square. By removing 4 corner squares, we have a total of 0 squares left. Using the formula, we get 1 plus 4, minus 2 into 4, plus 3. This indeed is 0. We can also solve it using additive method, which in my opinion is easier and faster to calculate. We can look at this figure as a complete 3 cross 3 square, to which 1 square is added at all side except at the corner. A 3 cross 3 square will have a total of 1 plus 4 plus 9, 14 squares. Now a new 3 cross 3 square can be formed at one of the side. This can be done at all four sides so four new 3 cross 3 squares can be formed. Similarly two more 2 cross 2 squares can be formed at each side. So a total 4 into 2, 8 new 2 cross 2 squares can be formed. What about 1 cross 1 squares? We have a total of 3 into 4, 12, new 1 cross 1 squares. So it will have a total of, 14 plus 4 plus 8 plus 12 equals, 38 squares. Now can we generalize this as a compact formula? Yes we can. The formula will be 1 squared plus 2 squared and so on up to n minus 2 squared, which is the largest square in the middle, plus 4 into 1 plus 2 plus and so on up to n minus 2. If you replace n minus 2 with k then it is sum of squares of numbers up to k plus 4 into sum of numbers up to k. For a 13 cross 13 square, k will be 13 minus 2, 11. Let us check it for a 4 cross 4 square. As per the subtractive method it will be, 30 minus 16 plus 3 equals, 17. As per the additive method, the largest square in the middle is 2 cross 2. So it will be 1 plus 4 plus 4 into 1 plus 2 equals, 17. Looks like we are good. You can choose the method of your liking but it doesn't really matter if you know the steps. Now here is a problem for you to solve. 
What if I remove a square from the middle? It is a 6 cross 6 square and I have removed a 2 cross 2 square from the middle. Can you count the total number of squares? Please give it a try and share your results in the comments. If you like the video don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also send me math riddles at contact at epicworld.co.in. Thank you.